Hi, I'm Kathy Dam. I'm going to show you how to use Adobe Acrobat Pro to add audio inserts into your student papers in order to give them effective feedback. The first thing I'm going to do is show you how to get the shortcut audio insert into your menu options at the top of your screen so that you can quickly and effectively add comments. Then I'll show you a sample paper where we might see how this might work. So if you wanted to add this audio insert tool, go ahead and click on View, Sorry. Show Hide, Toolbar Items, and Quick Tools. So it may not be 100% intuitive, but actually if you kind of follow, what do you want to do is you want to show and hide some toolbar items and then your Quick Tools. If you want to add any of these shortcuts to your menu at the top, this would be how you would do it. So we're going to add comments. If I expand the annotations section, you'll see there's lots of ways I can add annotations. If it's um, kind of blocked out like this, that means it's already in my tools. But you can see it says record audio. So I'm going to click on that and send it over by hitting the arrow. Now you'll notice it's gone to the bottom of my list. I have quite a few um, tools that I like to use. I don't want it to disappear at the end of my list, so I'm going to go ahead and just bump my record audio one. Uh, up a little bit so it's easy for me to find. Maybe I'll put it over by the, um, the text insert box. There you go. I'm going to click OK. So now you should see this audio button available at the top of my screen. I'm going to go ahead and grab a sample paper. So here I have a real student's paper that I'm able to use to show you how these audio inserts might be useful. So first I wanted to show you how you would insert the audio file. You would click on the audio record audio icon and then click where you want the icon to appear for when the students are receiving the file. I think this would be a good place. The sound recorder will appear and when you're ready to talk you can hit the red uh, circle record button. When you're done you hit the square. Um, maybe I might want to comment on how their running head is kind of cut off and it doesn't really effectively tell me the content of the paper. I might be able to also talk about how they didn't really cite in APA style. Now those are the kinds of things that work well with track changes, but if I wanted to say something about the content of the first paragraph, um, maybe they need to pull in more literature or give more of a background on what they're talking about, or can they explain this theory a bit more using uh, discussions from class, this would be another way I could do that, and I find this to be the most effective technique for establishing kind of content changes. But let's say I'm ready to record a comment. I go ahead and click on the record button. Hi, so I like the way you've started your paper so far, but I wanted to give you a, a couple of things to note right off the bat. First, it looks as though your running head was cut off and the words that are showing don't really convey the message of the paper. So I think we should work on rewording that so that with just a few words, we really are understanding uh, what you're trying to do with the paper. I've also noticed that you haven't quite followed APA style. Remember we use ampersand signs when we're citing in parentheses. So just keep an eye on um, the uh, APA style. But overall the content of this first paragraph is, is set up appropriately. I think we can clean up a few uh, points which I'll talk about in just a minute. But I think the, the general research that you're citing here is exactly what I need to see. So now that you can see I clicked stop when I'm done. If I click OK it will ask me what icon I want to use. I say OK. And now you can see that they will see this icon when you give them the, um, the file back. Now I can add lots of comments to this, even just for this one paragraph, and I've done that before where I'll say, OK, let me, in my next audio, I'm going to talk about another issue I saw. So that way they're not all one long audio because they cannot stop and restart them. But you can do several short audios if you need to. Um, what students do not need to have Adobe Acrobat Pro to be able to listen to the audio comments. They just need the free reader and they can see the paper as you see it and the little audio icons and they can double click on them when they want to hear them. So for example, if I clicked on this one right now, And so while I can't stop the audio once it starts, I went ahead and stopped it um, just using my recording option that I have. But if they're viewing it, then the audio has to run all the way through before they can um, listen to the next audio file. But I wanted to demonstrate to you how this might be done. 
I encourage you to give this a try. Perhaps post a comment to let us know how it worked for you and if there's another quick trick that you've learned about giving effective comments to your students on their papers.